start with chapter number 4 part 3 so let's begin so let us start new topic for today holidays are fun this topic is there in your ncrt book page number 46 so here a boy named atif his holidays had begun and he was very excited so he decided to write a letter to his cousin shabana so there if you have seen he has written Ajmer 1506. So that is the day when he has written letter. Then he has written that he is going to Nani's place on 5506. So this is the date. The 5 is the date and this 5 is the month and 06 is the year. So here 5. Which month is this? May. January, February, March, April, May. Then 2006. Then he is coming back on 2506. Means 20 May 06, 2006. And his school will reopen on 3606. Means 30 June 06. June is the 6th month. Total there are 12 months in a year. So students... Shabana got that letter on 6th May 2006. After 5 days, she received that letter. So now let us do these questions given in your MCRT book. Page number 47. Question number 1. Now write which states these stand for. A bar 5506. So students, this is the date. So write here 5. Then this 5 is the month. Which month? January, February, March, April, May. So write here M A Y May. And 06 is the year. Which year? 2006. Now B bar 2506. 20 is the date. Right here 20. Then 5 is the month. Right here May. Then 06 is the year. Right here, 2006. Now, C part, 7606. 7 is the date. Right here, 7. Then 6 is the month. Which month? January, February, March, April, May, June. So, right here, J U N E, June. Then 06, 2000. Six. Now D bar 1107. One is the date and this one is the month. Which one? January. Right here J A N U A R Y. January 07 2007. Now question number 2. Write these dates in numbers. Now we have to write these dates in this form. A bar 1 June 2006. So how we will write? 1 June we write 6. Then 2006 we will write as 0. 6. B bar 30 May 2006. Right here 30. For me we write 5. Then 2006 right here 0. 6. Now C bar 10 August 2007. 10 is the date. August is the 8th month of the year. So write here 8. Then 2007. Write here 0, 7. So next question number 3. How long did it take the letter to reach from Ajmer to Nagpur? So this story is there in your NCRT book page number 46. I hope you read that letter. In that a boy named Atif. He was very excited. As his holidays were starting, so he decided to write a letter to his sister Shabana who stays in Nagpur. So on 1st May 2006, he wrote a letter to his sister Shabana and Shabana received that letter on 6th May 2006. So now they are asking, how long did it take the letter to reach 
from Ajmer to Nagpur. So how long? Six minus one. That is five days. Now question number four. How many days will Atif spend at his nani's place? How many days? So when Atif went to his nani's home on five May two thousand six, and when he came back from his nani's home on twentieth May two thousand six. So now they are saying how many days he spent at his nani's place. So twenty minus five, fifteen. So right here, fifteen days. I hope students, these questions are clear. So let us start the new topic: manufacturing date and expiry date. Manufacturing date means when that particular item is being made, and expiry date means when it is not being used. So I went to some grocery store and purchased these items. So first item I purchase is organic chana. So in organic chana, at back I'll show you expiry date and manufacturing date. So here you can see 14 Jan 2020. This is the manufacturing date, and 13 Jan 2021 is the expiry date. So second item I purchase from there are peanuts. So let me show you the manufacturing date. Sixteenth May twenty twenty is the manufacturing date, and fifteen November twenty twenty is the expiry date. So third item I purchased from there is red label tea. So manufacturing date is written at top is sixteen June twenty twenty, and best before it is written twelve months. So I have shown you three things which I purchased from organic store. So now let us see here. First item I have shown you is organic chana. Manufacturing date was written fourteen Jan twenty twenty, and expiry date it was written thirteen Jan twenty twenty one. So students, if you notice, Jan month is same. So here the year is two thousand twenty, and here two thousand twenty twenty one. So around one year, this organic chana will be used. So now second item which I have shown you was peanuts. Manufacturing date it was written sixteen May twenty twenty, and expiry date it was written fifteen November twenty twenty. So here after May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So till six months this peanuts can be used. Third item I have shown you was tea. Manufacturing date it was written. Sixteen zero six twenty zero six month is June sixteenth June two thousand twenty. At best before it was written twelve months. पूरे एक साल तक आप ये चाय use कर सकते हैं. Now students, let us do few questions given in your NCERT book, page number forty eight. So first question is written on a cup syrup. It was written manufacturing date zero seven zero three. Zero seven is the month and zero three is the year. Zero seven month July and zero three two thousand three is the year. And expiry date was written zero seven zero five. Now they are saying what month and year is written as zero seven zero five. Zero seven month is July and zero five year is two thousand five. So you can write in your book month. You can write here month, July, and year. You can write like this: year two thousand five. Then second question they are asking: Would it be safe to take the cup syrup in September two thousand five? क्या आप कप सिरप को September two thousand five पे ले सकते हैं? क्या वो safe है? No, it is not safe. Why? क्योंकि उसकी एक्सपायरी डेट कितनी है जुलाई 2005 और आप सितंबर 2005 पे अगर लेंगे वो आपके लिए सेफ नहीं है सो स्टूडेंट्स राइट दीज आंसर्स इन योर बुक पेज नंबर 48 सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक वीक्स डेज एंड मंथ्स सो स्टूडेंट्स वी नो दैट वन ईयर इज इक्वल टू 12 मंथ्स एक साल में 12 महीने होते हैं 
and one year is equal to 365 days. One year is equal to 365 days. And one week is equal to 7 days. Ek hafte mein 7 din hote hai. You all know that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And 12 months in a year. They are January. January has 31 days. February it has 28 or 29 days. We also call it as leap year. Jo 4 saal mein ek baar aata hai. That is a leap year. Means 29 days. 4 saal mein ek baar aata hai. March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31 days. August has 31 days. September has 30 days. October has 31 days. November has 30 days. And December has 31 days. So students keep in mind that 4 months April, June, September and November they have 30 days. So now let us do a few questions based on this. Match the duration to the number of days. A part between 10th June and 20th July means 10 June or 20 July ke beech mein kitne din hote hai. Let us see June. How many days are there in June? 30 days. So let us subtract 30 minus 11 between bola hai na beech mein. So 10 ko count nahi karenge. 10 minus 11. 10 minus 1, 9. It is 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So it is coming 19. 19 plus 20. So we will do 19 plus 20. It is coming 39 days. So let us see 39 days. It is here. So match this with 39 days. B part between 26 December and 15th January. Between 26 December. So in December, how many days are there? 31 days. So subtract 31 minus 27. 27. So it is 4. This will be 2, 0. So here it is coming 4 plus 15. 4 plus 15, that is 19. So 19 days is 1. So match this with 19 days. C part between 5th March and 10th May. Between 5th March. March has how many days? Let us see. March has how many days? 31 days. So we will subtract 31 by 6. 31 minus 6. So it will be 5 cut 2. So it will be 25. Plus See, from March, after March, what comes? April. Iske beech mein beta, April will also come. April mein kitne din hote hai? Let us see. 30 days. So, plus 25, plus 30, plus 10. This 10. So, just count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 16. 5 days. Between 5th March and 10th May. 65 days is here. So, match this. Now, D part between 14th September and 22nd October. So, in September, how many days are there? Let us see. 30 days. So, subtract 30 by 15. So, 15. So, then add 15 plus 22. 15 plus 22. By 37. Now, E part between 31st August and 10th September. 31 August. August has how many days? 31. So, need this. So, answer will be 9. So, match this with 9. 9 days. So, students, I hope now you are able to find out number of days. Next question. Complete the table given below. A part 24th January. Starting date is 24th January. Duration is 18 days. We have to find out finishing date. 
So students, this question is there in your maths workbook, chapter number 4. So let's do together. So January has how many days? It has 31 days. So 31 and number of days before 24, that will be 23. So subtract, it will be 8. So 18 minus 8. So subtract 18 minus 8, that will be 10. So after January, what comes? February. So it will be 10 February. Now B part, 16th March. March has how many days? 31. So subtract 31 by 15, it will be 16. So 30 minus 16, it will be 14. So after March, what comes? April. So right here, 14th April. C part, 14th May. And finishing date is given 23rd July. So June is missing. So we have to count June also. So May has how many days? 31. So 31 minus 13. That is 8. And here 18. So 18 plus June has 30 days. 18 plus 30 plus 23. So let's add together. It is 71. So right here 71 days. Now D part 23rd August. Finishing date is 1st October. So here September is missing. We have to count number of days of September. So August has how many days? 31. So 31 minus 22. So right here 9. So add 30 plus 9 plus 1. So it is 40. So right here 40 days. So students write these answers in your maths workbook. Now next question. Choose the correct answer. A bar 630 hours. 630 hours it is before PM. So it is 630 AM. B part 11 hours. 11 hours. So it will be 11 AM. So right circle here 11 AM. C part 22.45 hours. What I said? 22.45 hours. So students, if you notice, this is 24 hour clock. And 24 hour clock runs from midnight to midnight. So here, I told you a shortcut method to convert 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock. What we do? We subtract by... 12. So, 22 minus 12, it is 10. So, it is 10 hours and 45 minutes. So, it will be in PM. 10.45 PM. Now, D part, 20 hours. 20 hours, let us convert this in 20, 12 hour clock. 20 minus 12, that is 8. So, it is 8 Hours. So it will be 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Now E part 14 20 hours. 14 20. So subtract 14 hours. It will be 2 20. Minutes will always remain same. So subtract 14 minus 12 that is 2. So it will be 2 20 p.m. I hope students now you are able to convert 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock. You simply have to subtract by 12. And for converting 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock, we will add 12 in hours and minutes will remain same. Now let us convert. Now let us convert hours to minutes. We know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. A bar. 8 hours. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Then write 8 hours is equal to 8 into 60 minutes. So multiply 
16 by 8. 8 zeros are 0. 6 eights are 48. So answer is 480 minutes. Now B part. 3 hours. First convert. 3 hours. 1 hour is equal to 60 minute. Then 3 hours is equal to 3 into 60 minute. Then write multiply 60 by 3. 3 zeros are 0. 3 6 are 80. So write here 180 minute. So we got answer 180 minute. Then plus 20 minute. Write here 180 minute plus 20 minute. So add 180 plus 20. We got 200 minute. So students, C and D part is your homework. Practice this question. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood Gulleen Ma'am's class. So chapter number 4, part 3 completed. So now we'll continue in our next class. Do like, share, subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.